How's it going guys? It is Venom from Next Level Gaming and I'm here today to do a new series and it's going to be called Road to Gold and I've seen a few YouTubers do this and they call it something else but I feel like starting it up and I feel like it could be fun along the way and it's a way of getting you guys involved as well as me having fun at the same time. So if you've already read the rules at the start of the video that I've already put up you'll be able to see that we upgrade a player and basically we're going to be getting it till we get rare gold players. So what I mean by upgrading is, say one of the rules was uh, player scores a hat-trick. If this player right here scores a hat-trick, the striker, we will upgrade him into a rare bronze striker. Then if he scores another hat-trick, for example, that player then gets upgraded to a non-rare silver. So we keep upgrading it until we get a fully rare, uh, rare gold team. And we've got 11 players on the pitch, and it's up to you guys now. I'm going to be playing two games with these, but I do have a bench of non-rare players as well. So do you want to see just the starting 11 get a uh, makeover and get upgrades? Or do you want to actually see a whole 22 players, so two teams of players actually get to that gold stage and see if we can win Division 1? It is entirely up to you guys. And at the end of the episodes, I'll be playing two episodes, uh, two games, and then uh, I'll tell you which players are actually going out and which players I need positions for. And then you guys in the description, uh, in the comment section, just rip it out what you want, what players you want to see. Make sure they're actually the right uh, level. So if we get an upgrade from this bronze player, say he's a centre back, make sure it's a rare bronze centre back, not a gold. And I'll, I'll choose out of them, I'll end up choosing, or if the most liked comment, I'll choose those players. So be sure to get involved, be sure to want to play, and there'll be more episodes and more series to come out soon. So let's get straight into it and see if we can get any of those upgrades. Okay then, so our first opponent is going to have 52 chemistry, and he doesn't have a good team at all. He's got a right back and centre back, he's got a few French links and a couple Spanish links. But well, he does have more golds than me, so they could be dangerous. But we do start off on the front foot. We go straight through, and the French striker unfortunately misses the chance. He should have been putting that away, but doesn't. We then go on the counter-attack, straight off their corner. A great little control right here. He's got no players with him, so decide to turn back. Try and play it into the middle, and then see this run out of nowhere come. And again, he gets through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but the keeper this time pulls off a good save to stop him from scoring. Next of all, we have the player getting through on goal, and then it's the Argentinian striker puts it wide, and I mean he puts it well wide. And just a bit of good defending now, and just show you that we have one centre-back, the Argentinian centre-back, who is great. And there's the stats. We've had four shots and one shot on target. Both had the same amount. We go into the second half. Unfortunately, we do start very bad. We go in for a tackle, miss him completely. Luckily we missed him because it would have been a penalty and then he does go ahead and score. But we do equalise straight away. We pass the ball, nice little one-two, plays it through over the top and then just dinks it over the keeper. There's no stopping those. Again, as I've said, this team does have a good strong defence, I feel. They can make a few mistakes now and then, but to, apart from that, they were really solid at the back. And here we go through again, last chance. And bang, a great save from the keeper. That's all we really got in, in that game was those few replays. And it was a close game, to be fair. Defending was great from both teams, but a few attacks at the same time. My keeper did pull off a good save or two. So we're going to head on to the second game and see what can happen in that. Okay then, guys. So this is the team that I'm going to be using next game. I've decided to take out the Argentinian striker and replace him with this German centre attacking mid. He's got 71 pace and 57 shooting, which actually makes him just slightly slower than the French striker and just slightly less shooting, I think. So hopefully he can actually perform better and actually have a bit more pace about him. And as you can see, we don't really have much choice in the other strikers. So I thought we'll go ahead and try it. So let's go and search for a team and see who we come up against. Okay, so this is the next opponent that we're going to be facing. He's got 39 chemistry, but he does have five golds as well as two silvers. So he does have a slightly stronger team. He has Ochoa in goal, and that is the only rare gold uh, player that he's got. So let's see how we can do against him. So this is a great tackle by Achikaro, the left back. 
and watch this for a run. Remember guys, this is the left back that makes this run and he just paces past all of the players in the team and then unfortunately doesn't get a good ball in. Well, it is a good ball, but just no one's on the end of it. And then next of all, this is the new striker that we've got, the centre attack in mid. What a strike and what a save from Ochoa to keep his team in it. FC was actually a great improvement to this team, I thought. What's this little bit of play he does? He gets the ball back in a second and he takes the shot on. But what we do is we get a, uh, we just cut back inside, pass the ball to him. He gets a little bit of space for himself and what a strike. And a good, a yet again, Ochoa keeps the team in it. And here he is, he helps cross, uh, pass the ball in from the corner. Another shot, Ochoa again saves the ball and keeps his team. So here we go again, we intercept the ball on the halfway line and we play FC through again. And this time I was going for power, I just powered one home and unfortunately hits the crossbar and it comes out of, uh, off the line. And then watch this from uh, Al Sutan. What a run. He just runs all the way through his defence and then just plays a nice little through ball in. Unfortunately, it was my mistake and we do just get nothing of it. And then watch this, guys. This is why I keep praising him. Watch this for a fake shot. The composure is excellent and what a finish. Our centre attacking mid play striker is doing brilliantly. So there you have it, guys. The half time stats. We're winning 1 0. We've had six shots and four of those have been on target. So we actually start off the second half on the front foot. We go through the uh, on goal with Delgado and he unfortunately hits the crossbar. We then get our other striker, the centre attacking mid of uh, Evsev on the ball and he in ends up hitting the post. And then in the same movement we get the ball back into the box, a nice little turn and a great finish. And Delgado actually proves why he should have been in this team from the first match because I know he had goals in him. So there we have it, he decided to rage quit, which does mean, lads, that we actually get two upgrades in this game. The first upgrade is the defensive upgrade because of the clean sheet, and the second one is an any player upgrade because of the rage quit. If we had gone and scored that third goal, we could have got a striker upgrade as well, but unfortunately he left before we could do that. So guys, what I want you to do is have a look on the market, have a look on Foothead and decide what two rare gold play uh, rare bronze players that I should actually get in this team. So that is a defensive player and any other player. So do you want to see a new striker, a new midfield or do you want two new defensive upgrades? Remember the defensive upgrades can also be the goalkeeper. So go ahead and decide. Take a walk, take a walk, take a walk.